Hello everyone, Subzero the X Ninja here. Welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So, before I go into the this part of the video here, which is going to be Waterfall, uh, guess you forgot to save before. I guess you forgot to save after the papyrus fight in the date. That's right, it's me. Um, so I had to go back and do the papyrus fight in date again, which I just did there, and I'm now back to recording here. So we're going to enter the next area of the game, which is Waterfall. <clears throat> so this time I'm gonna save and not be an idiot. Hope we can talk to everyone here. Then if we go to Sans here, we can go to Groby's one then. So we're kinda going back to Snowden for a bit here, because that's where Groby's is. Oh, Christ, I'm roasting. It's, re it's really warm in here, guys. Sorry. Um, I would go for ice. I'm gonna do that. He's cool. So this isn't the only time we're going to we're gonna get to hang out with Sans, we'll get to hang out with them later on as well. <clears throat> I actually forgot to say also guys, apologies if you hear talking in the background, but my, my brother and sister are playing in the other are playing a game in the other room, playing Valorant with each other. So just in case you hear any talking in the other room. So now Sans talking about the echo flower, which is that blue flower if you guys saw next to him. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit, let's just hit yes, guys. Yeah, because then I already know. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. <laughs> and welcome back to Snowden, guys. <laughs> You know, I don't think I've triggered the wrong number song in this version of the save, so let's just do that again. I'll just have a look here, might have. Yeah, there we go. Just sing along, guys. <laughs> Love the wrong number song. Alright, so after that hangout with Sans, now we can go to Waterfall. So before we go any further, as you see here, we now have Paris' number, so if we want, we can just call him. But of course, he's not going to answer us right now. See, do I need to put anything in here? Yeah, because I had to do the papyrus fight again, my I, I'm not sure how much I'm not sure how comparable this is to my inventory beforehand, but yeah, it might look a bit different because I had to redo the papyrus fight again. But go across here. I 
Alright, here we go. We got Paris meeting on down here. Monster kids coming out. Just sort of snuck, snuck out of the the area we were just at. <laughs> All right, now we got these flowers here, so we just throw them on there, and then they make path. We get the four of them down. Gonna be some puzzles with these later on. Right, Aaron. Right, so what we do here is we flex. Then on these, and then flex again until he basically flexes himself out of out the room. Alright, so what you're supposed to do is you're actually supposed to throw the plants up that way, like up this way here, to get up there, but if we can throw them back where the sign is, we got a pretty little, we got a pretty little Easter egg here. Actually, we got two, technically. I'm just starting with the sign here. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. <laughs> Bring him back by hitting this. And then here's another thing, we're gonna throw the flowers down here. I just realized I screwed that up. You guys remember from the date it said Sans made a quiche. I believe this abandoned quiche is that is that item, so now we got the abandoned quiche. Right now, let's stop screwing around, let's get this puzzle done. Sorry guys, you can see it, but the auto turn off message, auto power off message came up on my TV. You guys didn't see it, I had to get rid of it there. I never got enough pirates of calls here. Say yes, sir. So what you're going to do here is ask Washua to clean you, and then it's going to shoot these drops as you collect the green ones, and then you spare. Simple as that. So usually you have to actually look at this telescope here. I know I know the solution to this one, but 
You're supposed to actually look through the telescope here. It says there, check wall. It means this wall up here. Now, I'm not sure where it is, but it's not going to appear here because I got the wrong number song. But during my first playthrough of this game, I got one. I got a mystery character in my, in my game, Goner Kids. Which I know won't appear in this game because we got the wrong number song, because they don't appear in the same fun value, so... I'm not going to end up getting him in this game. It's actually here you find him. Alright, now we're going to have to dodge on nine spears here. <laughs> This isn't actually too hard. You get hit by a spear, you get barraged by a spear, you get a battle sequence. Yeah, like this. We just keep running away from all the nice spears here until we get this grass here. And then, well, I'll let you guys see for yourself. Alright, so let's go here then. So Silence has a little prank set up here, as you can see. This telescope. So if we use the telescope here, as you can see there's nothing on it here, it's just all red. But then if we exit the telescope, uh yeah, it's one of those prank telescopes, yeah. Gives you a ring on your eye. Let's go up here. The ice cream guys here again. So this is where we can get the punch cards if we buy three ice creams. This is what I'm gonna do here. I'll basically now I'm gonna take a punch card. It's carrying too much, so I'm gonna need to drop something there. Let's go to the box. I know there's a box down here. There we are. Let's throw the monster candy in there. Did I eat an ice cream bef from before? Yeah, I did. Or did I? No, I didn't. Must have. Alright, now we can go here and get another ice cream with the punch card. Oh, we should be able to. It's like three punch cards in there or something. Yeah. I'm an idiot. That's why it's not working. It's three punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you have punch cards. So I'm going to need to throw some things in here. Unicycle and Batman key shall throw in there. So I bought three ice creams. Let's see, I've only really got two punch cards from that one, so useless. Alright, well that was a waste of time. Alright, so... Let's actually just use the punch cards. Let's actually chop the punch cards. Here. 
Alright, I think that's it for our knives. We don't hear that. So we're gonna encounter more monsters here. I'll leave it because I don't have any space in my inventory. But you don't actually need those items in order to beat the game and the tree pass for standing. Two mold small. Pretty simple there. We'll actually encounter another variant, um, or depending on what happens, we should encounter another var variant of mold small titled Mold Big later on in Waterfall. Alright, so we're gonna meet now Onion San. This, this is this octopus thing. Alright, so we're gonna encounter Shiren now. Can we get through here? There we go. So, here's another tip you can do to make your life easier later on in the game. So, if we. You only need to hum once here. You only really need to hum once to actually spare Shiren, but if we keep doing it. See, I'll start developing a sort of like a concert then, and then that will actually make things easier later on. I'll explain out what, what that is when we get to because it's not in Waterfall, it's in the uh, it's in the core. Shiren isn't too difficult. So right, so here, this is another Easter egg here, and this will actually be pretty good because what we need to do here is that piano there. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over here, and you see the statue here. The statue. So we're gonna go here and grab an umbrella from here, and we're gonna give it to the statue. And we're gonna hear a tune. And if we wait here for a while, if we look at the top of the screen there, the notes we're supposed to play on the piano should come up. As you see there. So I'm just trying to see here. So, middle, up, right, middle, down, down, right. Middle up right, middle down down right, 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 middle up right, middle. There we go. <laughs> and we got this, the legendary artifact. So I'm actually going to consume one of my items for this. Let's see what what can I. Can I afford to get rid of a quiche? So we got the legendary artifact here, and it's gonna say we're carrying too many dogs. So now we go here, the annoying dog is in here. We have to drop the annoying dog, and then this happens. And now we've got this thing called dog residue in our inventory, which we're gonna actually save that for later. It is later in Waterfall. Mm -hmm. 
if we're gonna walk with Monster K here again. Even though we don't really need it this time, we just put it down here. We need to uh, climb on Monster Kid's shoulders here. I never knew Monster Kid even had shoulders. Monster Kid doesn't even have arms. So we're going to end up encountering online soon again. So this one here isn't too hard. You don't actually need to rush through this. As you kept here, do not rush through this. Every time you see one of those blue patches on the floor, that means it's I'm kind of like amazed though. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm taking a. So you kind of just have to navigate around this place until you find your way out. I've never seen it this bad. Normally I get through here by now. It's kind of... There, just barely made it through. With like, what, 2 HP? Jesus. Hopefully once I get out of here I can... Consume something here.
So that was kind of that was the reason why I named named myself Char. There, Char is the actual given na given name to the fallen human. There, not this one, the other one that we saw in the intro. Um, even though it is it is what you based on what your name what you, what you name it your character at the beginning of the game. Normally, it's known by fans as Char. All right, that's good. That's a safe point. I don't actually need to consume anything. I believe one of these garbage piles had astronaut to it, but... And if you got rid of the yellow names, if you guys remember from uh, the ruins, um, this ignores time too much. So, yeah, we're about to have another fight here. So, as I was saying before, if you guys get rid of the yellow names, then, um, yeah, before I actually talk, in fact, no, the yellow names, you can find them in the trap pile once you get to waterfall. And this fight here, you're going to see a lot of JoJo references. The... Feeble, feeble, feeble. I don't watch JoJo guys, sorry. I have no idea what's going on here. It's just kind of well known that this is JoJo references. Kind of funny as well because we saw an anime case. What we're gonna want to do is these projectiles here. We're gonna want to throw them in there. So right here, we can basically just sort of dodge the missiles here, and we died, somehow. <laughs> Over with. Let's get all, all his JoJo references out, references out of the way. We've seen this already.
yeah, that last death was pretty embarrassing. First time I've ever died to this guy half -way. here as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by death um, you can kind of just dodge them because especially with all the other ones because they'll just kind of just they'll just kind of you know do their own thing after a while so they'll end up getting a couple hits like this together I wasn't even aiming I was just I was just dodging So this is basically where we can pretty much befriend Naps of Luke. So if we want now, let's save here. And then I'm gonna go up here to Naps of Luke's house now. Christ, 34 minutes already and we're hardly even near on down yet. So there's a little Easter egg we can do here. Um, as you can see there, I mean I know they look like books but... Like they look like books but if you play, you can play a song with them. And uh, that'll trigger a, a scene. that will trigger a scene when we exit Naps of Luke's house. It's pretty good. So we just lie down here for a bit. Then this happens. Just a lag there, OBS saying coding overloaded. There we go, that's a fix now. Oh gosh, it's roasting in this room. If we go up here, we got the snails here. We got all these snails. Pay 10 gold here we can play. Which it actually doesn't really do much because either way it doesn't seem like you can win in this.
Because it's nice to press Z or X in my case because I'm using a PS4 controller. Ten cards. Snail Ball does is this. It just stops them. So it's actually worse. So encouraging being in spam doesn't even do much. It actually makes it go slower. Now, I actually have no idea if there's a way to win this or not. Or if you can even win this. Knowing how this game is for jokes occasionally sometimes. If we go back here, it should just be. Yeah. And this house here is actually Metaton's house. We'll find Metaton later on. Alright, that's enough screwing around here. Let's go. We'll come back here after beating Undyne because we need to date Undyne also. So I'm just gonna see. Do I need to. Because if we go up here, we find Gerson. Which, unfortunately, I can't buy anything because. You know. Unless I use the box here. I thought I maybe throw something in the box here. Yeah, I'll throw the dog residue in here. And the monster candy in you cycle. Okay, now let's go to Gerson again. If we buy the the cloudy glasses here, then it's, it'll give us more invincibility frames during battle if we get hit. So I'm gonna equip this. There we go. We'll get access to this later on again. Cause there's another box later on. Um, if you guys want to think of it as something, think of the box as like the the ender chest from Mi Minecraft. Just sort of think of it as that. Oh, all encoding overloaded again. So apologies if this lags. It seems to really love throwing up this encoding overloaded stuff. All right, special enemy Tammy appears here to defeat you. So if we, um, I'll just do this first. If we have Tammy Flakes and then we, we fight Tammy, then um, I'm sure some of you know what happens. <laughs> got a Flex right here, and then this happens, and then we got Iron here, where we just do the same thing we did with him before. Either room again. So we went on here. Tammy Village. Welcome to Tammy Village, guys. So this is where the dog residue is going to come from, so I'm going to get that out. So dog residue. I'll throw some things in here. Let's see. So I'm just looking to see where I need it. I'll hang it around here. Give me a bag, so I'll drop that. Let's try to see what I can get rid of here. Let's see. Throw the tough glove and fade the ribbon away. Because I just need all the space in my inventory for this, pretty much. And then I'll take out the inner cycle and just do that. So now it's not the dog residue and well and the ice cream and you put this in my in the box here. There we are. So we're gonna use the dog residue here. And yeah, it does this then. So as you see there, one of them is dog salad. So if we keep using the dog residue then. So we keep dropping all this. This is going to be a bit tedious, but what we do is we keep dropping the dog residue here. Until there's only one left again. And we're basically just going to repeat this process until our entire inventory is dog salad. 
So if you guys want to just skip all of them, because this is going to be incredibly boring watching me do this. Watch me constantly throw away dog residue. And I just threw like last month dollar shit or whatever. So I'm gonna go into here now because the Tam shop is actually the only place where you can actually sell items in this game. I know every place has a sell button, but you still you can't actually sell things. I know it's it's weird to actually even exist in the first place, but this is actually the only shop you can sell things. Which that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sell until we sell. So we're gonna keep selling all the dog cells. Nice there. We rack up a pretty decent amount of gold from that. I suck. I suck up that. Um, so, let's see, I'm gonna go take the ice cream. Take all my, take all my healing items. Apart from the spider and the butterscotch pie, they're just staying here. I gotta save. back to here again right yes yeah, so this one here should be the one where we find more big so what we're gonna use flirt and then this happens so now we're fighting more big but yeah so what we're gonna do here is unhug more big So I'm gonna go back to Gerson's shop here and get myself a crab apple. Cause I'm gonna make I need to make sure I have a full inventory of healing items for Undyne. It's also possible, I believe, we can kind of wash it and mold big together. So, right, we gotta wash an iron here. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get wash out of the way first here. Clip ring. here is constantly hit the lanterns because otherwise we're going to go completely dark so every time we see one just hit it and then realize you get uh, this. I'm going to be quite frank with you guys I hate this combo clean just because mold big is actually kind of difficult to dodge Kinda of difficult whenever you got 
blue Washua's blue, like Washua's blue attacks. We have to sit, stay still. So I'm actually just gonna eat something here. Get him off the battle. Then I'm gonna unhug. Dodge one more of these. Hope he kill me. I know I said I have to have full inventory of healing items for Undyne, but... Oh, that ain't not paying attention. This is, I cannot see a thing. We're gonna keep going right here until we encounter Undyne again. Which we're not actually gonna fight Undyne yet. We have to actually talk to this Equiflar and then, yeah. Seven minutes already, Jesus. So now there should be a path up here. Should go up. And then we're gonna encounter monster cut again. Forty coming up to fifty minutes, this might be my longest video yet. Over here, we can save Monster Kid. Then I'm not sure if you actually have to save Monster Kid or not to get the true pacifist ending, but I do it anyway because it makes sense. But even then, making sense in Undertale. Approaching 50 minutes, hopefully we're near the end here, which I think we are. Yep, right here. This is just this is just before online. We we fight online here. minutes now. I don't think I've ever recorded this one before. So we're gonna save here, get our health back up. here is notice how your heart's green now yeah as, you see, as long as you're green you cannot see it so this is the strategy here because later on she's going to turn us back to red and then we'll see what happens later on so I'm actually going to sit back for this one because then it makes it easy to find out where the arrows are coming from 
because I'm sitting in front of a huge TV, it actually makes this fight way harder. which is the next area. They go in our directions. I hate them. The exact reason why I won't play the genocide role. These yellow arrows. It's all over the place whenever you fight on that young dying in genocide role. Well, with these yellow arrows here. And then we're gonna fleet. And then we get the pirates gonna call us. Yeah. Alright, so before I do anything here, I'm gonna heal. Run away again after this because we're not free. And then we run across this bridge, and then what should happen is this. Now we're we're not in waterfall anymore, we're in hotland now in the next area. But we're not quite done with waterfall yet. Because we because just like Snowden we have to actually go date on nine now. First of all, we have to take, go to this water cooler here and then take a cup of water and pour it in on mine. This is required for the pacifist run, by the way. I'm nearly approaching the armless, please. Still have to date on them now. So we're going back down to Hotland now. Or I have Hotland. Save. Actually, you know, I actually forgot this existed. So let's go actually back up to Hotland. Because I'm an idiot and forgot this this was a thing that existed. I'll guess on Down Tice much quicker.
not this guy. I'm gonna stay here. And we're gonna go down here to the river person. easier than traversing the entirety of waterfall again. Save, there we are. So now we can go up here to Undyne's house. As you can see here, night on night is gonna get some drink here. So I'll technically no, no right, now what we do is move and then this happens. So then now what we do is the only real option here is T move because the others have something wrong with them. Aren't I, Jesus? So again, I'm kind of just letting the game do the talking here. Jesus Christ, I've hit an R now. I guess it's my first hour long video of this. I don't say Hotline will be an R2. Now 
Yeah, we're gonna have to get more. I'm just gonna... I'm not sure if it matters how you do it, I just do it like the whippy ways just because it kind of shows we're not violent, it just kind of makes sense in that case. So now we're gonna have to hit, it says press Z, although it's on the PS4 controller, I have to hit X. Right. We've got to just keep turning it up. Until we basically just blow up our entire house. with a big heart. So there we go, we've now befriended on now. And now, if we go into our cell phone here, Snap Paris and I'm like So that is now us basically done with waterfall. So if you enjoyed this guys you can move on to the next you can move on to the next episode of it, which will be uploaded around the same time as this, so hit the like button if you liked it, hit the dislike button if you just liked it, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for notifications, you'll get notified of every new video I upload. Bye everyone.